Hi guys, I'm gonna make a short series of videos explaining how to make models, three-dimensional models of atoms. Um, they are the Van Kamenade models, they are quite unique. Um, this is an overview um, over here. Um, it goes from the quarks to the photons. Um, this is a four part and this is a smaller scale four part, a three part and a smaller scale three part. Here we have single nucleons. This is a neutron, this is a proton, helium, uh, and these are the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven completed shields. Now what makes these uh, models unique uh, the Van Kamenade model uh, incorporates both the crystal shape of atoms and the number of circling protons, or circling electrons. So this has never been done before. Uh, when you have the Bohr model, uh, the Rutherford model, they are planetary, having one object in the middle and the electrons circling it, with it without any connections. In this case, the electrons are physically connected to the rest of the atom. She will show here with the proton, you can see if it turns around the blue axis, uh, the speed of the this electron or graviton, it's the same thing. The speed of this particle, this part, is higher than the others, so it's more likely to make a connection to bind to another uh, atom. So that's the spinning electron and it's physically connected to the rest of the nucleon. That's why a proton, the number of protons and number of electrons always the same. It's one and the same object. Um, we're going to start out very simple. Um, we're going to start off with this most basic particle of uh, the universe, and that's allow me, uh, the graviton. And it's uh, represented by a single styrofoam ball. Well, in fact, allow me to show you. I thought I Right, this is the one I want you, want you to see. This is a ball shaped spring which is actually a graviton. Gravitons are ball shaped springs. Well as you can see I'm not the only one coming up, uh, coming up with this uh, idea of the graviton or quarks. This is again ball shaped springs as you can see. This is my model of the graviton, a ball shaped spring having a bit of hooks on the outside. It, the material is getting thinner and therefore making a smaller, uh, having a smaller diameter, and in the end even turns into a hook, because it's thin, thinning at the end. It's a marvelous design, uh, literally phenomenal, and this design uh, is one of the reasons why I believe in the existence of a higher power. This is not designed by human beings. Um, again, making the model of uh, atoms, we're going to buy these Styrofoam balls, they're not too expensive, you can buy them by the hundreds. Uh, this is a four centimeter diameter. Um, next to those styrofoam balls, we're going to need some more stuff. We're going to need some sticks, these are the short ones, but we can also need the longer sticks. Um, you can find those in the shops who sell oriental food. Um, this represents the ball shaped spring, the smallest part in the universe. Um, to glue those together, we're going to need glue, and we're going to need a special glue that doesn't melt the styrofoam. Because, of course, you don't want it to melt. Um, this also counts for the paint. Buy, if you buy paint, make sure you buy paint that doesn't melt the styrofoam. Um, now, there are two scales here. Uh, this is a uh, completed model, 
very complete model. Uh, this is scaled down to about half the size of this. And you can see a lot of things are missing, but, um, well, just in short, um, if we create models on this scale, and if we should add all those quarks, all those spinning quarks, it will become very messy. Just a small example, this is, these are five nucleons together. And this is five nucleons together as well. But if you want to make an atom this size, using styrofoam balls, completing them, it will be very messy. You would only see balls, that's all. It doesn't show anything about the structure. So we leave out the red and the, blue, and the yellow ones. Only the blue ones are important when you make those atom models. The blue ones, they... Uh, they are the structure of it, the crystal structure. So we know what we need. Um, blue paint takes balls. And for the small scale for these, we need Q-tips. And with a bit of luck, you can find them in different shades, different colors. Uh, in my town, there, you know, I have only white ones, so I had to paint them. Um, when I glue these, I'm going to need a fast drying glue. I don't want to wait if I use this normal glue. I have to wait for hours. And uh, this is much quicker. This, this glue gun, it melts this glue uh, stick. And the moment it cools down this glue stick, uh, your connection is solid. Of course, after creating these things, you can always use some of this normal paint to strengthen these points to make it more rigid. Um, okay, the Van Kaminar model. Let's start at the most simple thing. We're going to take two. This is the sole object our entire universe is made of, right? So we're going to take two of them and we're going to see what we can come up with. Well, we have two of those ball shaped springs, which means they can entwine. And right here they are entwined very little, and the further we go, they get more entwined. Um, when we go this side, to this side, we're going to see they are entwined just as much, but they are stretched out. You can stretch out uh, those ball shaped springs, because they're springs, of course. Um, there's a little wood stick in between, but in reality, those two are a bit pear-shaped because they stretch out, but this is the best I can do. So instead of two pear-shaped uh, styrofoam balls touching each other, I'm going to take two round styrofoam balls and a piece of wood to imply the stretch of it. Um, this is a down quark, this is a quark, you can give them other names depending on the stretch. So you have quarks over here and you have the um, photons over here ranging from ultraviolet down to the, I'm sorry, ranging from uh, infrared down to the ultraviolet catastrophe. This is a short explanation how these things work. Um, being a quark, it can go stop motion towards an atom. It's like the cradle of Newton. You know, with this, those balls. Excuse me, let me show you this thing right here. You can do this. And that way, in a stop motion fashion, a quark moves into an atom and gets dissected by the atom itself or in the atmosphere of the atom. Yes, atoms do have an, at an atmosphere. Well, those are the quarks. Now, the thing is with these photons, they are entwined, so bouncing through is not an option, which means they get veered off. So, in contradiction to the quarks, the photons get veered off. They get uh, chased away from the atoms. And this creates, of course, a mirror shine finish on mirrors and smooth surfaces because there's an atmosphere. Despite the fact that smooth surfaces are just as smooth as these 
rough and coarse atoms, they have an atmosphere. And because of that atmosphere, the incoming photons fear off. They don't even get to touch these atoms, leaving the photons intact. Well, how to make these? Well, we had the styrofoam balls, the wooden sticks, some paint, and of course, me the knife to slice off a bigger part with each step. And in fact, this is just one single styrofoam ball. Well, the plain reason why this styrofoam ball represents uh, the ultraviolet catastrophe is this. The smaller the photon gets, the higher the revs are, because it gets pro it, the photon is propagated by gravitons striking it, which makes it tumble like this. But the, the smaller the diameter uh, means if the gravitons have the, still the same speed, of course, all gravitons have the same average speed, which means the smaller the diameter, the faster the frequency, the faster circumference. But at a certain point, these things are so much entwined, you cannot distinguish one from the other, which means you cannot hit this one and then not hit that one. You will you hit both ones at the same time, which means their forward speed is maintained, but not their spin. So their frequency goes to zero, despite the fact that they still have forward speed. They all travel at the speed of light. But in this case, the frequency suddenly goes to zero because those gravitons cannot distinguish between the one and the other. So this is the first step of uh, creating um, the, the camera, the atom model, and uh, hope to see you next time. Bye.